going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. Uh, getting a ton done on this uh, 74 Nova SS. Uh, got the interior done finally, as you guys see. Um, basically, I went at it with uh, the DA, uh, some 80 grit, wire wheel, whatever was doing the best job. Got it down. Uh, didn't worry about taking factory paint off. The factory paint is obviously a really good base. But wanted to get all the dirt, all the rust, everything uh, that was on there off. And uh, we accomplished that. I had a few things to fix. Uh, some mount back here. I'm not even sure what it's for. His rear end was taken apart when he got here. So I'm not sure what that held. It needed fixed. I fixed it. And then I also had to move the hump. Uh, it was put in years ago, just slightly off center. So I took that loose. Uh, it was held with self tappers. I uh, put it back where it needed to go. Uh, stitch welded it in place and seam sealed it. I don't think I showed that on the video, but all that stuff was done beforehand. Um, and then uh, the white you seen was epoxy primer. I switched up the color on you guys from the black to the white because uh, whenever I paint these cars, this and the uh, Camaro, I'm gonna be using white under the blue and under the green. So as a sealer, and I like using epoxy primer as my sealer, I just reduce it down. Uh, so I use that, uh, you know, for those. So, um, and then after the sealer, or well, the epoxy in this trunk and floor. I use Raptor liner. I love Raptor liner. I've used it for a long time. Um, I've used a lot of other bed liners over the years, and I've had some issues with some other bed liners uh, cracking or not sticking quite as well or whatever. But uh, I've used a ton of this uh, Raptor liner, and I've never had an issue yet. I've used it uh, tinted, you know, color matched, and I've used it black, a ton of it, and uh, never had any issues. So I'll give you guys a close up on this. This is the next day uh, after I sprayed it. This stuff takes, this says before any heavy use, five to seven days, which this in here is not gonna get heavy use anyways, but um, I'm gonna give it a few days to dry before I really get in there and mess around, uh, you know, do anything inside. Um, I think the next thing we're probably gonna do is start messing with the dash and the uh, vintage AC. So uh, let this dry and then we'll get onto that. And then um, after I show you guys this, I am going to paint a couple pieces for this car. Um, we're to that point where we can't hardly wait any longer to see some color on at least a few pieces and see what that's gonna look like. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna uh, close up on this and then we'll uh, get on to painting some, uh, some parts. All right, guys, there's that close up of this here. And all this is gonna get covered. Uh, I think, I forget what he said exactly. I don't think he gets carpet back here, but he gets something back here. Um, where you don't see any of this. We basically wanted to do this for the protection. These are all original. This was that part right there that I had to fix. It was rusted up to here, so I cut that and made a new piece come down, but it, it's good to go now. Um, and then these are all original floorboards in this car. I mean, they are in great shape. Um, that's that hump I told you, it was kind of off center. And I didn't bed liner at the top. I'm gonna just uh, POR that to protect it. So I didn't want to bolt, uh, even though it would have probably been fine to bolt my shifter on top of the bed liner. I just, I don't know, I'd rather have a more smooth, uh, flat surface to go on for that. Um, but yeah, these floors were, were great shape, so didn't really take, it took some time to prep, but not like, you know, putting floorboards and stuff in the car, so that worked out pretty good. And anytime you guys can put your bolts back in and then just tape the head off, I found it's way better because once you get bed liner down to those threads, you can still, you know, work with it but it's just easier to put your bolts back in if you have them. A lot of this stuff I didn't have because a lot of it was taken out uh, before it got here. Like that, all the seats were out, most of the seat belts, but the stuff I did have, I uh, put the bolts back in just for uh, installation, going back in, it'll be a lot simpler. So, but yeah, this, if anybody's questioning, you know, this, this Raptor liner or whatever, it's a great product. Um, I've actually never heard too many bad things said about it, but it is very user friendly uh not not hard to to deal with and you can tell when it is done it looks awesome so uh let me see here yeah it's really cool stuff and it's reasonable price too it comes with well you can get it without the gun but it'll come with a gun that you just kind of screw to the top of the bottle really easy stuff to spray mess around with uh so So now that this is done, the whole interior is done as far as I'm concerned uh, with, you know, protecting what's there, stuff like that. 
um, here in a week or two, when it, I'm not sure exactly when we start, but I'm gonna pull the cluster out and the dash pad's coming off and I've got to uh, sand and paint that dash, the metal part, the trim black part. And then we're gonna start putting our vintage AC in behind the dash. But uh, in the meantime, we're really jonesing to put some base coat clear on a couple of these small pieces just to have something to look at and see uh, what the color is going to look like. So uh, let's move on to that and uh, we can check that out. 